Hello, it's Ghost again for another Slipknot We Are Not Your Kind song. This one is called Critical Darling. I have a hard time reading, so I have to enunciate very clearly sometimes. Here, before we get into it, is another uh, Sid mask of mine. To be honest, I don't know what this one is called. But I do have all the information, you know, like... All that stuff. So, if somebody's actually curious, I can tell you exactly what it is. But, you know, I keep all the little paperwork and all that safe somewhere. So, yeah. Here's another mask. Pretty cool. Yeah, so. We. Yeah, let's get into it. This uh, Critical Darling. I like to start. This sounds like something. Not like, not like completely like something, but it sounds like something and I can't put my finger on it. If this sounds like another one of their songs or, I mean, you know, like to a weird degree, like maybe instrumental, I don't know. It sounds familiar to me. Not like the, the song, like, but like there's a part of it that sounds really familiar and I can't put my finger on it. So if you know what it is, let me know. I don't fucking know. And it's kind of weirding me out right now. But so far, two thumbs up. I love the transitions on this album, man. They are so good. They make the song so much better. Your soul. Your soul. 
still like another minute. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like it's over, but I don't want to miss anything. I believe that's going to be it. We got another 20 seconds. If I miss anything, let me know. But I love these creepy... Um... Like, either ends to the songs, starts to the songs, the songs on the album that don't have... They're, they're not, like, really, like, song songs, but they're more just, like, interludes. Uh, they're really cool, man. I really... I like that kind of stuff. It gives different vibes, different feels... And, um, the whole album as a whole, I've listened to, like, two-thirds of it by this point. Just very creepy in such a cool way. And each song is very different, and I really like it. I really dug this song a lot. I really did. Uh, definitely in the top tier. Uh, I love the drums. The drums really stood out. Um, Jay on the drums is killing it. I like him a lot, but... I don't know, that's what really, like, the each song has a little bit of a standout, and, like, there's coolness in all of it. Obviously, the vocals are good, you know, like, all this stuff, but the drums really stood out on this, so. Critical Darling gets two thumbs up from this guy. Your host, Ghost Likes Toast. I think that was the last one. But, yeah, no, it was great. I loved it. Um, I want to say this at some point. But if there's anything, like any song you want me to watch, cool, just let me know, man. I'm not really picky. And if it sucks, yikes. But you know what? It is what it is. So, yeah. That's it for this one. Uh, I gotta take this off for a second because it is hot as fuck in here. So, yeah. Cool. So far, haven't heard a song I haven't liked. But this is definitely in the top for me. So, yeah. Two thumbs up.